Hey guys, I'm Nick. And I'm Allie, and this is our daughter, Ruby. And we're away together. Vienna is a wonderful city and a great place to eat. Yep, and so in this video, we're gonna show you some of our absolute favorite places to eat in Vienna. Some are more traditional and some are more modern. Who's hungry? To start this video off, let's talk about how you should start your morning off by visiting a traditional Vienna cafe. The cafe in Vienna is like the community living room. A Vienna cafe isn't just a place to grab a quick coffee and leave. These are institutions where time slows down and you could savor the relaxing environment while sipping a delicious melange and reading the paper. This, my friends, is the Viennese art of living. If you've never tried it, you've got to try the famous Zachertort at least once. There are far more amazing and creative desserts than that, of course, and many, many cafes to choose from. Last year, Ali and I visited not one, not two, but five Vienna cafes in a single day. Cafe Lantman, Cafe Central, Cafe de Mel, Cafe Hauelka, and Cafe Schwarzenberg. And we actually filmed the whole thing. You could check that video out right here. Let's move on to another great spot for breakfast. And by the way, every location that we'll show you in this video is easy to reach on foot or by using Vienna's easy and inexpensive public transportation system. As a bit of a modern, and I use the term modern loosely, contrast to the traditional Vienna cafe experience, Vol's pension makes you feel like you're stepping into grandma's living room. The decor is kitschy yet charming with floral wallpapers and vintage furniture. What's unique about this place is that it employs actual grandmas and grandpas who bake the cakes and serve you, making a genuinely heartwarming experience. And the breakfast is amazing. We had a traditional Austrian style breakfast with cold cuts and cheese, plus breads and jams. When you order breakfast, they offer an all you can drink coffee and tea service, perfect for those who wanna settle in and soak up the cozy environment. And if you want cake or dessert from the counter, you'll need an Oma dollar from your server. Take this token to the counter and exchange it for a slice of heavenly homemade cake. Trust me, it's delicious. And by the way, Vols Pension is just a short walk from Vienna's Naschmarkt, which is a great place for cheap bites, people watching, and a good place to pull over if your daughter is crying and needs a bottle. Let's move on to lunch. This is one of my favorite bites in all of Vienna, the home of an amazing schnitzel, Figmuller. So, you can't talk about traditional Viennese cuisine without talking about a Wiener schnitzel. And this is the place. We've come to Fig Mueller, which didn't invent the Wiener Schnitzel, but they've been preparing it in the classic, traditional way since 1905. I got the Veal Schnitzel, and Nicholas got this massive pork schnitzel. You also have to get the Kartoffel Salad, the greatest potato salad on earth. This is quite a lunch. We're gonna dig in. First of all, this is literally bigger than my child. That's crazy. Huge. It's like hanging off the edge of that plate. It's amazing. I do plan to eat the whole thing. I never doubted you. <laughs> it's kind of hard to even manage. You should just pick it up and eat it. <laughs> just fold it up. I did as much damage as I could. Now we'd usually try to visit Figmuller for dinner, but they were booked up. So make sure to reserve a table in advance, which is very easy to do on Figmuller's website. Now, I certainly wouldn't call this place a Vienna staple or a classic per se, but it's one we really personally enjoyed. If you're interested in good beer and tasty food in a cool environment, you should check out 1516 Brewing. This brew pub is a great spot for craft beer enthusiasts, and with its industrial chic decor and a lively atmosphere, it's a good place to unwind. We enjoyed their pills and had some sausage while enjoying the great outdoor weather in Vienna. They brew their beers on site, and you can even take a brewery tour to see the magic happen. So Vienna's pretty big, and the way that we navigate really, really easily is by using Google Maps, which gives you the walking directions with public transport featured in. So it'll say you walk this far and you hop on this tram or this metro and makes it super, super easy. The way that we're doing that and the way that we have data 
is through Olafly. We got their eSIMs and seriously, our service has been fantastic it's been great. this whole time. We got the data plus calls package, which gave us unlimited data and ability to make phone calls as needed. And getting it activated was incredibly easy. We were emailed QR codes that we could scan with our devices. And once we landed, those codes activated our eSIMs in, I'm not kidding you, less than 10 seconds. Now, if you were to pull the trigger on Olafly, just make sure that if you're planning on using the QR codes, you have two devices. Like for example, I pulled up the email on Ali's phone and scanned it with mine and vice versa. Or if you have iOS 17, now you're able to install eSIMs from QR codes that are saved in your photos. You're also able to manage everything through the Olafly app. This was easily the simplest mobile phone situation I've ever had when abroad. If you've got a trip to Vienna or anywhere coming up, check out Olafly and use the code AWAYTOGETHER for a discount on your eSIM. All right, let's get back to talking about some quick bites. Something you've got to try in Vienna is Wurstel, which is Austria's answer to fast food. Quick, delicious sausages served in a variety of ways, and it won't be hard to find. These sausage stands are everywhere in Vienna. We had a few of them, but our favorite by far is Bitsinger by the Albertina. Now my favorite is the Kaisekraner, which is a sausage filled with cheese. Man, you pair that with a nice Augustiner, it's a match made in heaven. Okay, this stop is definitely not traditional, but it's an amazing quick bite and a place that we loved. Imagine fine dining, but in takeout form. Schachtelwurt, I hope I'm saying that correctly, offers creative spins on Austrian classics, served hot, fresh, and fast in a box. The menu rotates weekly. It's like having a Michelin star meal on the go, and the flavors are out of this world. Now we tried a few things. The roast pork with crackling and bread dumplings, the marinated chanterelles, the Riesling Buchel, lung and heart, mmm, I'm a sucker for organ meat. And then of course, the chocolate cake. Great food to chill outside and enjoy a nice evening in Vienna. Okay, it's time for dinner. For a more classic Austrian dinner, check out Griechenbeisel, which is the oldest restaurant in Vienna. Established in 1447, this place oozes history. This is the place for traditional Viennese dishes like beef goulash and apple strudel, all served in a cozy historical ambiance. The service was impeccable, and they often have live piano music to enhance your dining experience. The staff was incredibly kind and attentive and even brought our daughter Ruby some dessert to, in their words, play with. Wonderful, delicious meal. To cap off our tour, I'm bringing you to one of our favorite restaurants in this entire region of the world. Tucked away on one of the most beautiful and cozy squares in all of Vienna, Artner offers an upscale dining experience that's second to none. Artner is renowned for its modern Austrian cuisine with a focus on high quality, locally sourced ingredients. We had an amazing steak dinner here when Ali and I visited this place on New Year's Eve. And you must order the Kaiser Schmarrn. Kaiser Schmarrn is a true Vienna classic. It's like a ripped up pancake and you can get it all over the place, especially at cafes. But in my opinion, Artner has the best version of Kaiser Schmarrn I've ever had. I really hope you enjoyed this food tour. If you wanna see us eat our way through all of Vienna's cafes, be sure to check out this video. And by the way, we actually flew to Vienna from the USA in Austrian Airlines business class. I only paid $5 for those lie flat seats. If you wanna know how I did that, check out this video. Happy travels.